We need to see what's over here, but we don't want to aggro this. Hopefully it turns facing the wall. Oh yes. Oh yes. Too good. Okay, there's nothing down here. There is nothing worth it. Oh, we just juked him again! Oh ho ho! Best ever. They're just so good. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the forests of the Organ Quarter. It's nice to see a bit of a change of scenery. I didn't even know a forest would be possible in an area that was so clouded up. Although maybe it's not a forest actually. Now that I think about it, we've got fences right there. It's probably more like a park. The save said that it was a park, but I questioned it. I was like, nah, this is more like a forest, but okay, maybe it is, maybe it is. Anyway, so we're, we're, we're leaving apparently in this episode. We, we spoke to the woman, the mysterious woman in the bar in the last episode, and she said that we are leaving. Which, I wasn't even aware of our decision, but I guess that's that's pretty much what's happening here. I mean, other than that, there's not, <laughs> there's not really anything else that's going on. It's weird. It's unknown. It's a mystery. Oh. There's a path. Well, that explains a lot more. Now we can walk through the forest. And this is probably, quite literally, the way out of here. For all I know, this episode could take five minutes. It could take 20 minutes. It could take another three hours. This game is so unpredictable. It really is. They could do so much with it as well. We've got a guy down here in the forest. Oh no. Creepy forest at night. Was not expecting this. Good. Get you out of here. Trees are a little bit origami. It's okay. This is one of the larger areas in, in the organ quarter. You have to remember this game came out in set 2017, so making a game work and run as smooth as it does in virtual reality is, is quite a challenge, or it was quite a challenge back in that day. So... I think how this game specifically got around that problem is that they made all of those like quick loading scenes. We, we go through doors quite often and we jump into different rooms quite a lot which kind of makes it so that the, the developers are able to make smaller maps, which load a bit faster. Thus making it a lot easier to run, because you don't have too many things that you have to load at once. I don't know why I came after this guy, I probably could have avoided him. I'm also not sure if headshots... Oh, they do do more damage. Of course they do. It's a headshot. So yeah, it's interesting to see that we're now in this, this what appears to be, a, a very wide area. Maybe that's just the illusion that's being cast right now. I'm not sure what our ammo is like. Oh, we're in Lakora Path, so we're, we're making our way to the, 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 the medical university, which presumably is where all of the madness began. Okay, that's good to know. Plenty of pistol ammo, so that's going to keep us nice and healthy. Good. Bit of an off topic, but I've been kind of like working on trying to like speak better. Because um, I noticed in the last episode I kept cutting out, and I think that was because I'm like, I'm like a natural born mumbler. It's one of the things I've, like, always done. And if anyone else from, like, also mumbles or struggles to speak, then you'll know that it's, it's quite difficult. So I was kind of, like, like researching how you would do that, how it all works. We have a bit of a mysterious lit area here. And basically one of the things that came up was, like, uh, the difference between talking out of your throat and talking out of the roof of your mouth. And I, and I had no idea just like how much of a difference this can make. But if you, if you really think about it, and if you're sat there now, maybe like at home, like if you consciously put your, your almost like your mind into the, like talking out of your throat, talking out of your voice box. So if I do that now, you'll notice that maybe the, the, the voice is just like, you almost have to push out that extra bit of breath, but you get about as half as much volume. It's really strange. And then if you consciously now take your voice and you put it to the roof of your mouth, and you speak out of the roof of your mouth, you'll notice that immediately things have gotten louder, your voice will travel further, and it's just like such a small mind trick that you can do that just makes such a huge difference to the way you talk. And really, that's like one of the life hacks that has kind of came out that I've discovered the other day that, that really is insane. I, I used to get it all the time, you know, you go into the kitchen, like you talk to some people, I'd talk under my breath and people would be like, what are you saying? Like, repeat yourself. And I, I had to be asked to repeat myself again and again and again and again. But I think something like this, just that little like conscious effort to put my, my voice into projecting to the roof of my mouth instead of uh, talking down where my throat is has made a huge difference. 
So there you go. Bit of a tip for the day if you, if you ever want to learn something new. Who says you don't learn something on this channel while we're, we're killing zombies? It's all, a, it's all a learning experience. Go tell your parents, you know? Video games are educational. Alright, it looks like we're, we're making our way to a building now. Some form of... Yeah, what the hell is this? This must be the inner gates to the university. It's a strange groaning on the other side. Let's go have a look. Yeah. Eerie stuff. So we're completely out of Uzi ammo. Which is a bit of a shame. But this is a cool university. I like it. We don't have a map of the university area. That makes sense. I have to be careful not to gesticulate too much because the movement's locked to my hand. That's why you'll see that my left hand's always kind of like down by my side here. Because if I try to move it around it will... Gonna kind of screw with our motion. Oh wow, he took more bullets than I thought. I'm trying to get for headshots, but there is a bit of a skew on the gun here. It's one of the things I, I found with Half-Life Alex as well. I think just shooting in VR is always a bit clunky. There were some headshots. If you ever make a VR game or you're ever like in development of a VR game, one of the like huge things you can do is just add a red dot sight. Add like a laser. It makes such a huge difference. It really does. Ooh, two of them. Can we go for like piercing shots? You see, I missed that. I'm kind of surprised. I'm actually closing an eye as well. I'm, I'm looking out of my right eye. I'm not sure if the game wants us to kill all of these either. Let's try some of the side doors. Pretty cool stuff. M119. Presumably still no map of the area. This looks very similar almost to the block of apartments that we started at in the beginning. But... Well, it's not. I don't think I tried that one. Where's it? Aha! I'm glad I went back. What a strange classroom. There's something in here. Sounds like someone jumping on the bed. I don't think this is good, though. This might be something new. Oh no, it's just one of you. Okay. Oh yeah, give me those headshots. Juicy stuff. I think the headshots give you a different animation. There's a lot more, like, splat and goo that comes out when you hit them. Ooh. We've already found something weird. What is that? Like an eyeball? Or a bong? Flesh key with a symbol of a lung opens multiple locks. Jesus Christ. This game is weird. I think like overall, thematically, this game is definitely on the edge of, of the imagination, for sure. I don't think you could really get anything much crazier than this. It's like, it's like what you would imagine the Rick and Morty creators would design. Just something completely wacky and insane. I think like Rick and Morty has obviously a comedy spin on things, but if Rick and Morty did horror, oh my goodness, would be in for a treat. <laughs> that would be some crazy, crazy stuff. That's kind of, I guess, what's happening here, but just from a completely different perspective. So these ones go outside, so we can check some of these side doors again. So we've got a key that can open many locks. Aha, uh -huh, and a base of operations. Good to see. And some shotgun ammo. That's much needed. Definitely. We can probably equip the shotgun now. Because we're going to have more ammo of that than we have of anything else. And we have the university itself. Oh, it's not huge. It's probably got multiple floors, but most of it's just the park grounds. Take that with us. There we go. I haven't really been using the map system all too much. I think, like, my memory serves me quite well, so we don't really need to go too much into individual map creations. So I'm going to take the Uzi out, and we'll take the shotgun back. Nice. And we may as well take all the health kits with us. I'll put one back just so we have a slot free in case we need a key. But you never know when we're going to dive into a boss fight. Do it. We have ourselves a document. This looks like it's going to be also hell to read. Oh my god. This old typewriter was stashed away in the English department. A rickety beauty should help me focus on my work in these silent hallways. 
Nought but the clicking of the keys to keep me company. Perfect. Four nights it's been, so far. Sleeping in storage cupboards or between lecture halls? Hiding from security at sundown and sunup? At least these packs of mop heads makes for decent bedding. Only problem is, I haven't got my ointment, so skin is flaring up again. God, it, that, like, why would they do this? Like, the text is fading here, it's written all blurry-like. It's like they don't want us to read it. But I can't go back home. Can't even think about it. Not for a second. Those walls remind me of every mistake I made beneath them. Here I get locked up every night and there's no trace of me. Nobody's to tell me I need help. To tell me to clear out. Can't wait to get some work done. Sounds like someone desperate to get a degree. I know the feeling. Hours of locked up in the library. By choice. To shut yourself away from the rest of the world to just get the work done. Looks like that's where the lung key goes, the fleshy lung key. It's kind of cool to have the shotgun back. I'm liking it. M1118 again. Way too many ones. <laughs> Alright, let's try the key. It's got a heart symbol on it. This one has a lung symbol on it. Maybe that's why it's not going to work? No. So we'll probably have to go to the other side, maybe. If there's no hallway that links the two. Let's try outside. No. Okay, so we can't go outside that way, but we can go outside this way. So it seems like the front courtyard is probably okay. Okay, yeah, so this was just one wing of the building, and we can go to the other wing as well. And that's probably where... Ah, oh, here we go. The lung keys. Although this one looks... Yeah, this is a pair of lungs. Such a strange design. Ooh. Cool. Like popping a balloon. How grim. 101? No, we'll just make our way down the hallways. That's like the easiest way that we can stay on track of where we're going. But there's definitely a couple of like easy little bits with the heart keys and whatnot. We've got a brain key as well. We've got to collect all the organs again. It's just like the jars in the first episode with the toenails and the hair. Okay, well, end of the line for us here. Should think we're getting low on pistol ammo too, yeah, so we really need to find ourselves some ammo. Oh, it's we're gonna have to start playing run around. And I don't know, like, how that would even work in this game. Shooting does seem like our main way of dealing with the enemies. Look at how thick the darkness is here. Let's try 109. Oh god. Anything but you. Oh, it's already starting its dance of death. I'll take one bullet and then I'll just accept that it's going to stay alive. Oh, they're all at it. Okay, 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 I'm just going to go for it. Just going for it, I'm going for it, I'm going for it, what's this? Don't know, but I've got it now, I'm leaving! I'm leaving! Good. Actually, I took a little bit of damage there. A chemical dropper containing green fluid. I did hear you. I knew I did. Shotgun time. At least we know that every shotgun bullet is a kill confirmed. So, we probably have a lot more resources than we think. Which is a good job, because we've got to spend it all on the nubs! <laughs> Ooh, elevator. I didn't want to do that. I didn't think it would happen. Can I pick a floor? Ooh. Okay, we're back. Let's try this side cutter. Okay, that one's locked. How many bullets do I have? Six. How many nubs are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to risk it. We'll go up to another floor, and then maybe we'll find some ammo. God, if we get to pick all of these though, this is going to be crazy. Like, floor two? Floor three? Let's try floor two. Ooh, whenever I get in a lift, it's just immediate Dead Space vibes. Is that it? Can I leave? Open? Cool. So the map kind of shows us what's going on here. This place has definitely seen better days though. Circular key there, there's many keys in this university. Many, many keys. Okay, well nothing too interesting there at least. Floor three. At some point this is gonna go wrong. It has to. It's guaranteed. Ah, floor three's blocked off. Are we slowly moving? 
We are slowly moving. Look at it. That explains why I feel so queasy all the time. We have a slight... Yeah, I think it's like in relation to the hand tilt? No idea. Nothing on floor four. It's just like the emergency button when everything goes wrong. Of course, floor five's open. I don't think they'd do it, but I'd love to see a window. That'd be really cool. We will be able to get through there, but we're going to have to take a bit of a run for it. And we will take damage on the way over. Ooh, I'm getting this little janitor's office. A toilet, even better. And some ammo. Hello? Oh! Sorry. He doesn't even know we're here. He has no idea. You gonna wipe your bum? Wash your hands? Surprise! Good. Good. <laughs> right, document time. Straight. Like, wait, wait one minute. What, did, he, did he flush? Wait, he didn't even have a toilet. Oh, that's boring. Oh boy, it's typewriter again. Oh dear. I've been borrowing lab equipment for a couple of days, working on my projects, but yesterday there was a scale and a breaker missing from the rack. I thought I forgot to return them or something, but then I heard the sounds downstairs. I just spied the ammo. I figured a professor was preparing for a class experiment, but then I heard it again. More like a drill or a power tool. Then, from time to time, combustions that rattled the bookshelves. Doesn't sound like anything he'd have to do for class. I'm going to go take a look next time I'm near it. Cool. So we got a wacky professor. Uh, if anything, that's probably the doctor, right? As the only other significant member in this story, the doctor was probably one doing crazy experiments, which leads us to think that he, again, was the one that created the disease in the first place that set the organ quarter off to hell. Hmm, alright. Oh. oh, it's seen us. That's actually okay. The closer it gets, the easier this will be. Ooh, it's gonna go for a puke. There you go. Is he dead? Nice. Gotcha. Okay, so get my sprint button and I'm ready to go. Sprint! Ow, 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 ow. How are we doing? Not too bad. Take a little stim pet. Good. Good, good, good. If you had, like, health injections in real life, would you take them? Bit of a weird question, I know, but, like... I've never really liked the idea of having to constantly inject myself. I don't think anyone likes that idea too much. Oh god, that's a ranged one. But I, if it makes you feel healthy, it makes you feel healthy. Like, what can you do? What can you do? Oh, a med pack. Oh god, they're coming in force. Oh shit, that one's sprinting. Okay, let's got him down. This guy's coming over. Okay, we got him before he was a problem. We're almost out of shotgun ammo, so we've got to be very careful here. But this should help a ton. That brings us back to four at least. Ooh, and some pistol ammo. Yes, yes, yes. We're getting danger close now on, on ammo. Every bit counts. Ooh, there was something under that chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some ammo, some ammo. Ooh! Did I just duck behind? Ha <laughs> ha! Suck. Oh, this guy too. I'm not at the woods just yet. There we go. We're actually full. Oh, we have 20 pistol bullets. Nice. Okay, I'm going to take the, the quick injection just to get the ammo. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. I'm getting like home sweet home vibes as well. This game just gives me vibes of everything, of any kind. What? In, what is this? The like cursed bullets? I can't take the pistol ammo either. We're gonna put the med tag down. It's not worth it. What is this? Shotgun shells encased in a strange subject. I cannot use it like this. Maybe that's what the chemical drop is for? Squeeze it on. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> well, I didn't do anything. Well, I'll come back for that. Right now, the, the usable bullets are more better. More better, yes. 
Symbol of a heart. Okay, so we should have the heart door now. That's the brain door. Alright. I'll take him with. Maybe we can leave him on a shelf or something. Hello, more bullets. It's Christmas. Oh, yeah, you're not going to let me out without a fight. Of course not. Oh, one minute. One minute. Bang. I need to remember that the, the ones with the crazy robot arms are one shotgun, one pistol. Nothing more, nothing less. So we leave this here, and then hopefully when we come back, they'll still be there. No promises. Right, we'll check the other side, and then if there's anything there, then that's good news for us. But if not, then we've done our best and we've got the heart key. So we can, we, like, the heart key unlocks many possibilities, because we've got the other side of the building which has the heart key in it. And there's also uh, some of the doors around here as well. This is definitely going to sting a bit, but, you know, it's all worth it. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, looking good. Our character's tanky. He can definitely take a beating. Wait, does this just loop round? Am I... I just did that for no reason. God damn it. God damn it. Well, we got the heart door now. This one. Pop. Hey, the little symbol stuck. It's like the little stickers you get on cupcakes. <laughs> My god, I'm so innocent. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Never know one of these offices might be something good. No, not today. I'll give that chair a pass. It's almost clipping through the wall. Almost. Alright, let's check the heart door. Ooh! This is a spicy room and a half, ever I've seen one. It's just always like a... a just like a unsettling, disturbing, nauseating feeling when you play this game. That like the entire bit. We're getting maggoted on as well. They seem to have ranged attacks. That's not that good. I'm going to heal up because you never know what we're going to encounter around here. Oh, another chemical fluid. That's good. I think it's things like the fact that there is a ceiling, but there's also not a ceiling. Yeah, this is, see, this is telling us that the chem fluid can be used green and blue fluid, almost like to dissolve these things. Maybe we'll go to a chemical lab and we'll be able to make something out of that later on. Alright, let's pop the nubs. Off to victory. I wouldn't be surprised if we've now randomly teleported to the second floor. No. Okay, we just came out the back door. Alright, well that gave us the chemical fluid, so there's, there's a couple of things brewing here. Quite literally. Two chemical fluids and two keys. It's gonna help us out big time. So was the floor two a brain door or a heart? I'll skip it if it's a brain door, but it might be a heart, so you never know. We've arrived on floor one because it was neither. It was actually a, um, what was it? Oh yeah, a blank door. Random key. 24 bullets, so that's enough to clear out these nubs. There's no guarantee that I'll hit them all anyway. But turns out, I'm a boss. Oh, another one. <laughs> this was completely pointless. Oh, tell a lie. Got ourselves a health pack. Oh, and another one. What is actually this? Filled with viscous. Hmm. Adds to the unsettling feeling that the game just kind of gives you. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so now we need to go and find the heart doors. Did we ever check the other side? I don't think we ever made it to the other side of this building. Oh no, we did find this, didn't we? Yeah, so there, there's probably a heart door here. Heart. 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 Brain. Alright, that's okay. Heart. Pop. Ooh! A good room. This could be where all the chemistry happens. It does look very chemistry based. Who in the world are you? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, so we're gonna have to dissolve the brain key. Uh, we're gonna- oh yeah. Oh god, we got some chemistry to do. Let's listen to this, this will probably help us out. I'll put it just on the edge of the acid. I came in early today and, <laughs> sure enough, it had seeped under the door of the cupboard. Need to try a new acid spray compound to keep it back. It, uh, it exceeds my expectations every day. Picture of 
future where there are no waiting lists for organs. Picture it. The committee can't. Frankly, I spit in their face. All right. I need to make sure Calkins lets me know about any lost causes that come in. The cadavers he sends up here for the students are no good. I need living subjects whose loved ones are desperate enough to sign our waivers. What? Ones who don't have any other options. You're disgusting. Needed, the students never touched the old operating theater on the second floor. Calkins lost causes and Dorothy cleaning up reports. You good? There you go. So some sick experiments happening here. So this is all a bit weird. Can I just... Ooh. So we'll test out the key because the key can't go wrong, I guess. And we have to kind of figure out how to dissolve this using the weird chemical symbols. Are these drops? Is it going to be like... Yeah, so two drops of blue. That's cool. One drop of yellow. And then... Three drops of red. Is this red? This one's empty, actually. Oh, it's white. Let's just dissolve the key. Where is the key? Oh, it's still here. Okay, good. Yeah, and still kind of disturbed. So we need to go find a red file and we need to add three of them. I could add three white ones and we'll see what happens. Now you see it resets. So that's not good. All right, we will be back then. At least we know where it is. Although it is the brick. Oh, okay, yeah, there's, there's a heart on the other side of the, the university. So I will, I will jump over there. And that probably leads us to the answers that we need. I can only imagine that eventually, when we come out of here and we've done everything we need to in the university, that this ground will form the final battleground. Just seems like a sort of House of the Dead anime style boss that will be flying around here that we have to deal with. I know you feel it too. The heart door was definitely this side. Yeah, here we go, here we go. There we are. So this should lead us to the red liquid with a bit of luck. Hello. Oh, I missed. What's this guy, God? Whoa! Is he dead? Well, I used a lot of bullets on that. I didn't expect that to take so long. I must have been hitting the wood or something. Right, here we go. Is there a file on these tables? Yes, there we go, red liquid. This guy doesn't seem to have seen us, actually. I'm just gonna... grab this and go. Wow! That was good. And from here, we can create the concoction again. So we'll start from the top this time. Three drops of red. One... Two, three, one yellow. We like slide into the left, slide, slide to the left, slide to the right, and then two blues. You know, dos. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is this is good. We got the sound effect cue. Yeah, I probably should have taken some of the bullets with me so that I could disintegrate some of them, but that's okay. Maybe this will be enough. With a bit of luck. The only thing we have to do now is not die. Definitely easier said than done. Symbol of a heart, multiple locks, lung, brain. Pop. Make sure we're nice and healthy. We have a long way to go if we die now. Oh god, he says and he walks into this hellhole of a room. Those are the biggest problems. God. No! Okay, I'll heal up. We should be able to deal with this guy. Is he dead? Okay. Oh. That was risky. And for what? Shotgun and Uzi bullets? I might even go as far as saying that that wasn't worth it. Okay, we have a chest. And I think it's probably wise that we use it. We have to be very sparing with our ammo now. So in here we have the Uzi. So we'll, we'll take out the pistol. Put in the Uzi. We've got 25 bullets in there and we'll just have to take out the pistol ammo for now. That's all we can do. It's really kicking up. At least now that if we come across any of those cursed things, 
We can keep them in our inventory, put them in the chest, and maybe use it later on to, to dissolve some of the bullets and get them later on. So really, we're just heading back to the lift, because on some of the other floors, I think the fifth floor, there was a brain door. That's what we're looking for. I remember going in this for a reason. Yeah, there's probably... Yes, okay. And there was the bullets here that were useful. We've mostly dealt with the enemies in here. I just pray that the game remembers that. And there was a brain door off to the side here. Okay. Big brain door. We need this to be the big player. We need we need the door to give us some good stuff. We're running out of options otherwise. Oops. Alright, here we go. Oh! Jesus Christ almighty. They know that this is pain. I'm not even going to bother fighting that. We just got to go. Oh god, there's something in here as well. We can use the shotgun on these at least. I just hope that this is worth it. There's a ranged one as well. Oh my god. What do they want us to do? I'm not, I'm not. I'm, I can't. I can't do that. There's no amount of ammo that's going to make me survive that. Let's see what else this area has to offer. It might be something that we can get a good, like, reach around from at least. We've got a lung door here, that could help. Just give me the lungs, the lungs. Okay. Ammo and health is definitely appreciated, but we're going to need a lot of it if we're going to get through this. Okay, that is... that... that's good. That helps a lot. Uh, we'll have to take out some of the cursed items. God, this is getting intense. This is getting very intense. With all the keys and the micromanagement and whatnot. It's crazy intense. It's getting spicy. It's getting spicy. How many shotgun bullets? Two shotgun bullets. Okay, we'll have to go a bit more sneaky then, I think. We need to see what's over here, but we don't want to aggro this. Hopefully it turns facing the wall. Oh yes. Oh yes. Too good. Okay, there's nothing down here. There is nothing worth it. Oh, we just juked him again! Oh ho ho! <laughs> Best ever. I'm just so good. So we're on the back side now, so maybe some of these other floors will let us in. It's like namely floor four, maybe floor three, something like that. Nope. So maybe like floor two was never meant to be accessed from this side and we can access it from the back side now. Just a thought. Oh no, floor two sleeping off limits. So what is the point in this lift? Floor one. Okay, seems like we might be on maybe a different side of the building. Yeah, okay, so this is the original zone. And they probably conveniently left the save point here. Is this the save point? Is this the save point? Save point? No? No? I think that was maybe the brain door. So one of these doors should take us to the save point and we can use that as like a little checkpoint for when things inevitably go quite badly. It's like being in the disco room except everything in the disco wants to eat you. Ugh, not good. Not good at all. You see, this is why we use the map. So that we know which door goes where. Alright. Take the pistol. Remove the shotgun. Take that with us as well. Good. I'll heal up there. Okay, well I think that's going to do it here for today's episode. And I think in the next episode we will get a little bit further beyond past the brain door. And then I guess from there we just need to find that one little key to get us into the extra room. And then I'm not quite sure what's left to go of this game. We're probably getting very close to the ending now, I'm starting to feel that. You probably are too. So there you go, thank you very much for watching. So, if you did enjoy the video, then there is a link to the full playlist where you can check out all the way back from episode 1 down to this one now, which I think is 4 if you would like to go and view that. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and, well, I hope to see you in the next one. So until then, I goodbye! <laughs>